Charlotte Studio Blog. I have zero recollection as to whether I've already spoken to the camera. I don't remember saying hello. So maybe this is the second time, maybe not. Anyway, welcome to another studio vlog. Um, I'm currently recording, not recording, I'm currently editing a video all about how I design stickers using Procreate. So I've taken you through the whole process. I'm gonna leave a little card up here because although I'm editing it, you'll already have seen it because it's last week's video. Anyway, yeah, it's taking me ages trying to edit down five hours of footage into about 30 minutes is no small task. And if you're new here, you won't know that I have an eight month old baby. So every time I sit down to do something, I then have to stop and start and stop and start. It really makes the workflow really difficult because when I'm really into it, he'll then wake up from his nap and I have to stop. But luckily, my partner Derek is off. Partner, my fiance, should I say? Derek is off work today. So he's taking Freddie out for a little walk and I can actually talk to you guys. Um, when he's napping, I can't talk to you because he's right next door and I end up waking him up. So I have to do all the kind of B-roll montage stuff when he's napping. It is the 1st of March, which means it's a brand new month over on Patreon. There are a few things changing, but the main thing is my goodie box tier is opening next month. So I wanted to show you a bit about that, you know, later on in the vlog, but I've got a lot of prep work to do for it. So I'm gonna get cracking and first things first, I'm gonna write my monthly news method. I'm gonna write my monthly newsletter over on Patreon. I like to kind of give a little life update and you know, business plans and stuff at the beginning of the month and I just do it in a newsletter form. So I also have a podcast every month that I do that, but um, yeah, this is just a nice way to sum up my plans for the business and what I'm getting up to. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll chat to you in a little bit. So with my new big screen, I need to plug it into my laptop and I also, if I'm editing videos, I need to plug in my external hard drive because I don't really edit videos on my laptop, there's not enough space. So if I plug my, take my charger out and plug my external hard drive in, I don't like editing without my laptop plugged in because that's how I lost everything on my last external hard drive. And yeah, there's only two ports on my Mac. So I bought a little USB, oops, USB C to USB C hub. I had one for a normal USB, but this one is for, because most of my adapters, like the things that I use, I can't do this with one hand, hang on. Most of the things that I use are a USB C. So I bought one of these. I think it was £40. So you've got four ports. Also, does anyone recognise this dress? I don't know why I decided to wear a dress today. It's like zero degrees outside. But I know why I decided to wear this dress, because everything else is in the wash. But this dress always now reminds me of when I first opened my Etsy shop and I did a lot of dancing in this dress on these vlogs. So let me just insert a great clip of me getting my first ever orders in my shop. Okay, 
so it might be a year and a half later. The dress is a little bit tighter after giving birth, but I still do a dance whenever I get orders. Maybe not quite as dangerously on a chair as I did, but getting orders in your shop, that feeling of excitement and just feeling so proud of yourself, it doesn't go away. It really, really doesn't. Okay, right, back to editing. I've also got videos to edit for Patreon. Yeah, I'm in full editing mode, which isn't very interesting to film. And then I need to get packaging some Patreon happy mail. Okay, I really am going now, okay, bye. Freddie's um, asleep, I try and get work done, but I was just so tired and I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna fight it, I'm just gonna go for a nap and try not to feel guilty about it. It's now 20 to six and I'm just back to editing really. So yeah, looking a little bit worse for wear having not long woken up from a nap. They always say you should nap when baby naps, but in reality, how would you get anything done? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you do. I love to meet other mums and find out like how they're coping because people say I seem to be doing amazingly and I don't feel like I am. So um, comment below if you nap when baby naps or whether that's when you get stuff done. Hi guys. So I'm currently at my mum and dad's. It's now Saturday. I was meant to um, edit the vlog all day, but I don't actually know if I film that much. Yesterday I went live on YouTube for the first time ever. I was absolutely terrified, but I didn't really have anything to be worried about. Everyone was amazing and everyone was so nice. And I think during the live there were about 140 of you, which is just insane. I thought maybe there'd be about like 20 to 40 people watching, but yeah, 140 was more than I, <laughs> than I thought. And I was drawing and I had so many technical difficulties in the lead up to the live. I always do every live I do on Patreon, but I ended up taking about three hours to set it up. And in those three hours, I was meant to have it done my initial sketch and then the live was gonna be coloring and line art and things like that. Although I'm happy to share the whole process of my sketching and stuff, when you're starting with a blank canvas, and you're live on YouTube. That's really daunting. But I did it, I ended up sketching live on YouTube because I didn't have time to do my initial sketches. The idea in the live was that I was gonna do a, like a Japanese sticker pack. More all to do with like Japanese food and drinks and like the packaging, because I just love the kind of packaging and stuff. These were the reference photos I was using. So, this one is the milk carton. The only thing is, I don't really know what the deal is with this and um, copyright. So I've made it slightly different. I'm not doing like an exact copy and I might do a different like brand and stuff. Yeah, I think that's gonna make a really, really cute sticker pack. I'm really, really tempted to get my stickers manufactured, especially because I think this as an individual large vinyl sticker would look really nice on a glossy sticker paper. And my printer does not print well on glossy, it just smudges. Anyway, I am contemplating getting them manufactured. I think as well with having Freddy, it's just really time consuming trying to keep up with my stock. And I'm finding that with my sticker sheets, I just keep running out and it's, been, I've always been like this, but it's even worse with a baby. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe I should get my sticker sheets manufactured as well. That's quite a big, big task. 
but I am redoing all my sticker sheets at the moment. I'll show you a couple that I've got in the works. So this one I drew as part of a draw with me video. So it's all kind of coffee shop themed and we've got a time for tea sticker sheet and I thought I'd try some different colours. So on my screen it looks really green, that's strange, but that was like a yellow. Let me just turn the brightness back up. I've not got my really nice lighting set up at my mum and dad's. Yeah, I'm gonna do a whole shop update rather than just updating one at a time. So I'm waiting till I've got a few more sticker sheets finished so that I can do a big shop update. Mum and dad have currently taken Freddie out for a walk. So I am gonna get packaging some Patreon happy mail because it is the 5th of March and I need to get these shipped ASAP. I'm really sorry about the lighting, it's not the best in here, but I have got my February happy mail, so you're getting two postcards and they have a little bit on the back, and honestly the texture of this is just amazing, it's like almost like fabric, and I really love these illustrations, I think they're really cute, and they're also getting a large vinyl sticker. I think that's gonna make a really nice happy mail set. I'm really excited for everyone to receive that. And I also like to write a little letter to my patrons. Some months I just don't have time if there are more patrons in the happy mail tier, I don't have time for a full letter. But at the moment it's manageable and I get to use my lunar notepad and I really like writing on this. It feels super soft and smooth. So I'm gonna get packaging this and then I'm gonna talk to you about my pity box. a little bit it was super sunny but it's getting a bit overcast now so hopefully that lighting is a little bit nicer and I just wanted to talk to you about my goodie boxes because I'm so 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 excited and I don't know if I've mentioned it enough um, I've talked about it over on patreon but I've only mentioned it in passing here on YouTube so the happy mail that you just saw me package I have one more month of that that is my posty pal tier that was always meant to be just one postcard and I ended up adding a couple of postcards and stickers because I just wanted to give a little bit more in my happy mail basically I've decided to change that tier and make it a goodie box tier so instead of a postcard every month what my patrons are now going to get in their goodie box tier is one goodie box every other month. So I'll be sending out a goodie box six times a year, but by pledging every month, they are helping me spread out the cost of the goodie box and it means that I can actually invest in more products and spend a little bit longer curating a themed box. So at the moment, I only get a couple of weeks to create the artwork because I need to create it, then send it off and then ship it. And it's just really tight for time. It also means that I'm not able to send out as much as I would like. So the idea with sending out a box every two months is that I can fill it with goodies. I have so many ideas for the sorts of things I want to include. If you don't know, before I started Fizz and Flourish, I was actually a costume maker. So I'm hoping to add a few kind of sewing goodies maybe to the first box. So if you want to grab a box, be sure to sign up on the April 1st. I've already given access to my patrons and I'm limiting it to 20 spots for now. At the moment, I can't do more than that because I need to order the products in beforehand and I don't want to order too many and then 
it not be popular? I don't know. So if you want a goodie box in April, sign up April 1st to my Patreon. I'll leave the link below. I'm gonna send things like art prints, stickers, bookmarks, notepads, like just anything that I feel like making and sending out to you guys and it'll all be exclusive. So this is stuff you will not be able to get in my shop. Sign up April 1st to guarantee your spot. So in other news, I'm just gonna get cracking on my sticker update. I think I'm gonna be doing that over the next couple of weeks, so I really hope you can see it. And I do have some exciting plans for Fizz and Flourish in the next couple of months, but I'm gonna keep that hush-hush at the moment. I know that's really annoying, I'm really sorry, but until it's definite, I don't wanna share it just yet. All right, I'm gonna get drawn some more stickers whilst mum and dad are out with Freddie. Okay, I just cannot get the lighting right here. <laughs> this is why it's nice to film in my studio because I've got my whole setup. But with a baby, it's just, I have to stop and start so much. And coming to my mum and dad's just means that I can get a little bit more done um, if, you know, when Derek's at work and stuff. So it's also been a bit of a strange week because we've been decorating the house. So I've been painting, putting up blinds and all sorts. So I feel like this week I've totally been on over, all over the place. I haven't even really looked at my to-do list. I've just kind of got jobs done and I don't really know if I'm doing the priority jobs. Anyway, I'm gonna end the studio vlog here don't forget, I'm going live again at the beginning of next month, so please be sure to join. I'd love to see you there and chat to you. And if you have any questions, you can ask them on the lives. So I'm gonna try and do that once a month at the beginning of the month. And then my other lives are gonna be over on Patreon and they'll be more business related and art tutorial related. And then I'll leave the cozy draw with me's for YouTube. Okay, my mum and dad are probably gonna be back any minute and let's hope Freddie has fallen asleep. Okay, I shall see you next week for another studio vlog. Okay, bye guys.